Charter Local Edition with your host, Rose Cayazzo. Today we're at NACO, the National Association of County Officials Conference, and visiting with us today is Laramie County Commissioner Amber Ash from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Welcome and thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. Excellent. So tell us about the county you represent and how long you've been a county commissioner. Um, so I represent Laramie County, um, which is in the southeast corner of Wyoming, and it's home to the state capital, uh, Cheyenne. And I've been a county commissioner. This is my fourth year, and I'll be up for a re-election this year. Great. So four years ago, how did you get involved with politics? Um, well, when I um, first got involved, going back, I guess, to my college career, I had um, gone to school to, um, for accounting and economics, and I started taking electives in political science. And the next thing I know, all my classes were political science and not accounting and economics anymore. So I changed my major. And then I ran for city council, and I served there for four years um, for the city of Cheyenne and Wharf One. And then when I um, was finishing up my term for city council, um, people approached me and asked me if I would consider running for county commissioner. And um, I just uh, had a baby, and I was leaving my job at the at the state um, where I traveled over half the year. And um, I didn't want to literally miss half my child's life. And, and then um, I ran for county commissioner. Excellent. Excellent. So share with us today your views on economic development in your county. Um, so in Laramie County, we have a really stable economic base. Um, we have the state government, the state capital with all five elected officials. Um, we also have the F.D. Warren Air Force Base. Um, and its economic impact is $400 million. And then by the time you add the National Guard, it's up over $800 million. Um, in addition, um, we have the Archer Complex. Um, which the county purchased back in 2004 um, and it was purchased to be a place for um, the Laramie County government offices, um, home to the fairgrounds as well as other recreational opportunities as well as to provide commercial development. Okay great and Cheyenne Frontier Days is coming up in July. Something about 119 years I think. Tell us more about this big event that happens in your county. Um, so Cheyenne Frontier Days is the um, premier uh, Western celebration. It's held the last full week of July. Um, it survived wars, depression, the recessions, um, and it's put on by a core of approximately 2,500 volunteers. Um, and the events include um, nine days of PRCA rodeo, um, two championship bull riding events, um, one cinch rodeo shootout, um, it has four days of the Western Heritage Parade, um, which feature a matchless um, set of antique carriages that you won't find anywhere else in the world. Um, there's the Native American Indian Village. Um, there's also seven nights of um, world-class musical talent. Um, this year that includes Kenny Chesney, Kiss, um, and Sam Hunt. In addition, there's the free pancake breakfast. Um, they literally mix the, the pancake mix batter in a cement mixer. Um, and so the companies will buy a, a new one and will donate it for use before they rotate it into, into service. Um, that's pretty cool. And then um, we have the United States Air Force Thunderbirds um, aerial performance. And in fact, um, they have performed every single year except for uh, sequestration. And we were actually their first performance in Cheyenne. Oh, excellent. So, um, the Cheyenne Frontier Days in 2015 had over 606,000 visitors, and its economic impact was over $28 million. Um, this year it'll be July 22nd through the 31st, and we hope to see people at the daddy of them all. Excellent. Any other events or festivals you'd like to touch upon? Um, well, in Laramie County, we have year-round recreational and entertainment opportunities. Um, one of those is the Kirk Gowdy State Park, which is just 24 miles west of Cheyenne. Um, there you can go hiking, fishing, boating. Um, there's an archery range. Um, there's m mountain bike trails, um, off-road horseback and, or horseback riding and um, ATV trails. Um, so there's every opportunity available for the outdoor enthusiast. Um, to go there. 
Um, in addition, we also have the Cheyenne Botanic Gardens. Um, the Botanic Gardens um, features this, the Paul Smith Children's Village, um, and which is kind of like an outdoors children's museum. So it has things like an old farmer's windmill, um, Archimedes screw, um, there's uh, um, natural wetlands, uh, just all kinds of opportunity, hands-on opportunities for children to be outside and to um, have the opportunity to um, experience those things. Um, it's currently undergoing a $16 million renovation, um, so we'll be expanding um, the ability for um, space and plant growth, consequently, and then um, it'll have new uh, meeting venues for like weddings or, or meetings or uh, classes or whatever else we may need it for. Um, but probably the coolest part of this expansion is that we had a periscope um, donated by the U.S. Navy um, that will be available in the children's, um, the Paul Smith Children's Village for people to use. Wow, that's wonderful to know. So moving on to your priorities as commissioner, what, what do you see as your priorities in your county? Um, one of the things that I have been working on as a commissioner is a joint fire station um, between Laramie County Fire Districts 1 and 2. And so this joint fire station um, serves several purposes. One, it'll go out at Archer um, at Synergy Park where we have 160 acres of land available for commercial development. Um, and so it will uh, service that area. Um, it will reduce the ISO ratings for homes within the five mile radius, um, which will draw up their homeowner's insurance rates, um, making it more affordable for people to live out there. Um, it will also um, have a residency program. Um, so Laramie County Community College, um, students who are participating in that fire program will have the opportunity to reside there and gain real life on the job work experience manning the station um, while they go to college. So when they get out, um, then they already have that work experience on their resume. Um, in addition, I have worked on um, several opportunities in terms of partnerships. We recently formed a partnership with our award-winning um, library um, to provide a point-to-point -po -point connection um, between the library and the county, increasing their internet speeds, um, and also reducing their annual cost by $24,000 a year. Um, I've worked in the legislature on several initiatives, including um, the lottery and the parity tax for prepaid cell phones. Um, so generating more revenue for Laramie County to be able to provide those services. This is all wonderful information. Thank you so much for sharing us uh, today. So Commissioner Ash, we appreciate you joining us today on Charter Local Edition. Oh, thank you for having me. Charter Local Edition has been an exclusive presentation of Charter Communications.